My dear senior high school students, welcome to another exciting and fun discussion of the world of contemporary arts in Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat malolenya. I'm Mom Bridget, your support teacher for today. As we start this session, I am expecting that all of you are excited especially in discovering new knowledge in the world of contemporary arts. For today's lesson, we will discuss about the various contemporary arts forms, art forms in the Philippines. This lesson is anchored in the most essential learning competency in CIPAR for first quarter which is research on various contemporary art forms. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to, our objectives for today, identify various contemporary art forms from the pre-colonial art period, or I mean from the post-colonial period, uh, American period, okay? I uh, appreciate various contemporary art forms from American, Japanese, and post-colonial art period to contemporary period. And you're going to present a form of integrated contemporary art forms. Okay. For our review, all you need to do is to arrange it to come up with, with an answer. You are going to arrange the scramble words to come up with an answer. So are you ready, Deltalarians? Let's go and don't forget to write your answer on the chat box. Here we go. Number one, it is anything print, uh, printed from raised or reliefs and plain surfaces. Okay, can I have your answer? Uh-huh. Write your answer in the chat box. What is the answer? What is the word? It is anything printed from raised or reliefs and plain surfaces. Aha, uh -huh. parang wala pang sumasagot. Wala pang nagcha-chat. Ano pong sagot natin for number 1? For our review. Anybody? Aha, wala pa rin. Sino po makakasagot? It is anything printed from raised or reliefs and plain surfaces. Ano po ang tamang sagot doon? Pakiano niyo po yung word para makakam up kayo with a correct answer. Pakisulat po. Okay, mayroon pong... Yes, sino po yun? Ayun po, Aber, mayroon na po ako nakikita from Nestle Jean Tabangin Danay. Ang sagot niya ay clinical art. Okay, correct. So sa mga sumagot ng clinical art, tama po yan. Okay, number two. 
This refers to agronomy and farming. Ano po yung word natin? This refers to agronomy and farming. Habe, sige nga po. Anybody? Aha, wala pa. Sige po, sumagot po tayo. Yes, from Angel Marie pa yung ayong. It is agricultural art. Correct. So lahat ng sumagot ng agricultural art, tama po kayo. Number three. It refers to medical manufacturing. Refers to medical manufacturing. Ano po yon? It refers to anybody? Sige nga. Ano ang sagot? Aha, mayroon na ako nakita. Uh, Sandra de la Cruz. Ang sagot ni Sandra, graphic art. Correct. So, tama ulit kayo. Yung mga sumagot ng graphic art. It is a graphic art that refers to medical manufacturing. Okay. Next, uh, number four. It is the process of changing of raw materials into some significant products. Ano pong sagot natin? It is the process of changing of raw materials into some significant products. Ah, anybody? Ano po ang sagot? Aha, sige nga po. Aha, wala pa akong nakikita ang sagot. Sige nga. Aha, number four po tayo mga kapatid. It is the process of changing raw materials. Okay. Hello? What is the correct answer? Process of changing raw materials. What is the correct answer for the process of changing raw materials? Number four. Tumama ba tayo sa number four? Industrial art. Industrial art ba yan? Okay, industrial art ba yan? Anybody? Tama po ba? Nagkulang ba tayo ng uh, ano natin? Yes, nagkulang ba tayo ng letra? So, correct po. Industrial art is the answer. And for number five, the last question for utility and practical use. Ano pong sagot natin? Anybody? Number five. Number five. Okay, may nakita na akong sagot. By Russell James. Ang sagot ni Russell James. Okay. Practical art. That's correct. For utility and practical use is a practical arts. Thank you so much, Dr. Lawrence. Congratulations. Very good. Okay. Let's proceed. Ah, tara na, sama yun na ako sa pagtuklas ng ating sariling sining. So, to understand contemporary art forms, you must understand the roots of Philippine art. Let us look to the arts history of our country to understand and know the influences of our rich culture. Last meeting, we tackled the development of Philippine art, pre-colonial art period, and some notable artworks of prominent artists during those periods. Today, we're going to learn the different art forms and some significant artworks of Filipino artists during the American era to post-colonial. Okay, let me start with the American colonial art period. American colonial art period from 1898 to 1946. So the American brought in education and values formation with both uh, following the American way of life. So you can read this in Alice Guillermo Sinning Visual, 1994, page 4. Okay. In the American regime, art illustration, advertising, and commercial design gained popularity and incorporated in fine arts. 
So may fine arts ba yung uh, degree no, no sa college? Fine arts. Painting themes still largely favor genre paintings, landscape, and still life portraits are reserved for high-ranking officials with a more academic approach to make the more uh, to make the subject more formal okay uh, still life is a work of art depicting mostly inanimate subject matter so example of this are flowers food uh, dead animals plants rocks etc okay the american so the subject more we have this the next one please uh the next slide so popular art style during the philippine american colonial period so we have the neoclassicism in architecture the white house is the best example for that and the best example in the philippines for neoclassicism style is the uh in the philippine architecture we have this Okay, and yes, so we have the Metropolitan Theater, popular art style during the Philippine-American colonial period. The Art Deco in architecture, okay. the Chrysler uh, building, uh, go back please, uh, uh, building, then the Art Deco in Philippine architecture, and the best example there is our Metropolitan Theater, okay. Uh, next, we have uh, popular, so we have the Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau is a French word which means new art. In architecture, the old England building built in Art Nouveau style, so Musée des Instruments de Musique, okay, by Bruxelles. So we have the Art Nouveau in the Philippines, the Oi Chaco building. Okay, and uh, the other one, the next please. Okay, Art Nouveau, it is a style of the decorative art, architecture and design, prominent in Western Europe and the US from about 1890 until World War I and characterized by intricate linear designs and flowing curves based on natural forms. It is also called style moderne, a movement in the decorative arts and architecture that originated in the 1920s and developed into major style in Western Europe and the United States during the 1930s. It is characterized by simple, clean shapes, often with a streamlined look ornament that is geometric or stylized from represent, uh, representational forms and uh, unusually varied, often expensive materials. So the art, art, no, art nouveau, no, the new art. And the next, uh, so we have a notable artist during this period during the American period, uh, we have the Fabian de la Rosa. Fabian de la Rosa, one of the brightest names in the Philippine printing after Luna, and certainly the leading master of genre in the first quarter of the century. His nephews are artists as well, Pablo and Fernando. So Fabian de la Rosa. And we have Fernando Amor Solo or very own Filipino artist, a portraitist and painter of rural landscapes. He is best known for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of light. Okay. So uh, his art styles, Impressionism. Uh, Impressionism originated in France in 1860s. So this is a, uh, a literary or artistic style uh, that seeks to capture a feeling or experience. So that's Impressionism. Uh, Luminism. Luminism is an uh, American landscape painting. Uh, 
style of 1850s to 1870s, characterized by effects of lights. So it is characterized by effects of lights in landscape through aerial perspective. So through aerial perspective. And uh, realism. So we have realism there. And with subject inspired by Philippine genre and historical nudes and society portraits, first awardee of the National Artist Award in 1972. Next, please. Guillermo Tolentino won the National Artist Awards for sculpture in 1973. Nako po, grade ano pa lang yata ako uh, second year high school, no? Won the National Artist Awards for Sculpture in 1973. He is considered as the father of Philippine arts. Why? Because of his great works like famous Bonifacio Monument. Most of you have been in uh, Caloocan, Bonifacio Monument, symbolizing Filipinos' cry for freedom. So, yun po ang Bonifacio Monument natin symbolizes Filipinos' cry for freedom. And the famous, the UP oblation, okay, it is also signifying academic freedom. So, Guillermo Talentino. And so, others, there are emergents of Philippine pre-modern art, triumvirate of the Philippine modern art, uh, we have Victorio Idades, Carlos Botong Francisco, Galo B. Ocampo. They introduce the modern art styles, such as pop art, such as pop art. Uh, it is a, a pop art, it is a movement okay, that uh, emerged in the United Kingdom and United States of America in 1950s. So, an uh, example of this is uh, advertisement. O kung gusto mo i-paint, ano si Manny Pacman, as a boxer, that's a pop art. Or a can of Coca-Cola, pwede po yan. Pop art na yan, okay? So, we have then... Uh, Maximalism, maximalism. Ang maximalism naman ay they believe that uh, more explore or more, ano, mas, mas maganda. No? Ganun po ang uh, maximalism. A reaction against minil, minimalism. So, uh, sa kanila, aesthetic is excess. Aesthetic is excess, more. And the... Uh, minimalism, eh, kabaliktaran naman ng ano niyan. Sa kanila is less, more. Uh, less is beautiful. No? Less is, uh, para sa kanila, kung konti lang o kung ano lang focus. That's beautiful. That's already more for them. That's minimalism. And abstraction, or abstraction, there we have. Dealing with uh, ideas. Abstraction is dealing with ideas. Rather than, uh, shall we say, uh, tawag dito, uh, it is dealing with ideas rather than the uh, events. Rather than the events. Yun po ang uh, 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 abstraction. Okay? And uh, the, the other one is expressionism. Six to express. This is six to express emotional experience. So the expressionism and the constructivism is a style or movement uh, in originated in Russia in 1920s. So yun po ang uh, constructivism. And uh, in constructivism, kung i-apply natin sa academic uh, education, it is more on the learner-centered rather than the teacher-centered. Teacher That's the uh, constructivism. And we have the magic realism, of course. No, So, ang magic a literary artistic genre combining com a combination of, uh, uh, shall we say, narrative and natural 
uh, natural technique. So that's uh, magic realism. And environmental art, uh, this is uh, prominent, connected with nature using natural materials. So um, art before the World War II. So ito po sila. Okay? Uh, if you have uh, any questions regarding uh, what I have uh, tackled or discussed, uh, we may we can continue that. You may chat down, take note. Then you may ask uh, maybe your questions in in our online classes, no? Uh, for 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 deepening, for abstraction. So you can take note for that. You can take note that. Okay. Next, please. All right, so the, uh, tapos na tayo sa American. Uh, mayroon din palang Japanese era pumasok from 1941 to 1945. Okay, the Japanese era. So since the Japanese advocated for the culture of East Asia, preference was given to the Philippines' indigenous art. Yan ang kanilang preference, indigenous art. This emphasized their propaganda in Asia. Under the Japanese occupation of Manila, the modern art project slowed down in pains. Okay. Kasi ang focus nila, it is more on the indigenous or indigenous art. Kalibapi kapisana ng paglilingkod ng bagong Pilipinas. Uh, ito yung uh, grupo na nag-sponsor ng art competitions. Na? So in music, the composer, national artist, uh, Felipe de Leon, was said to have been commanded to write awit sa paglikha ng bagong Pilipinas, declared as the anthem, spec uh, specifically for that period. Uh, it conveyed uh, allegiance to the nation, reared in East Asia, where Japan was actively asserting its political power. Okay. Uh, Genre paintings were mostly widely produced, particularly those that presented a neutral relationship between Filipinos and the Japanese through works that showed that normality of daily living. Okay, pa. So, yan po ang uh, ano natin. So, these are uh, uh, famous artists during the Japanese period. Uh, we have Fernando and Amor Solo. So, ano yung kanya mga painting? Harvest scene, uh, painting 1942. And, wow, nung nasira ang Manila Cathedral, ruins of Manila Cathedral in 1945. So, famous artist. So, one is Fernando Borsolo. And in music, we have, oh, wow, Silvia La Torre. I don't know kung kilala niyo si Silvia La Torre. Uh, pwede nyo tanongin ng nanay-tatay nyo. Pero kung familiar kayo, uh, you know what, uh, one of the famous song of uh, Silvia Latore is Sakabukiran, composer, Levi Celerio. Uh, Levi Celerio is our world Guinness record. Uh, the only Filipino musician who can play music or melody sa pamagitan ng dahon lang. Dahon lang po. Yan po si Levi Silerio natin. So siya po nag-compose ng Sakabukiran. So siguro ka, Sakabukiran, walang kalungkutan. Yun po yun ha. Lahat ng araw ay kaligayahan. Sakabukiran, ako ay walang kalungkutan. Lahat ng araw ay kaligayahan. Yun po. Yun po ang isang example ni Sylvia Latore sa Kabukiran. Okay. So, um, I gave only two uh, famous composers during the Japanese period. Alright. Uh, proceed. Post-colonial period from 1946 to 1986. Ala, ano na tayo nito? 1986 na. So, next. Uh, we have the Philippine modern art, 1946-1970. Elementary pa ako, 1970. The study of determining what is Philippine contemporary art period is still being determined since it has been used loosely even during the American colonial period. However, 
Some Philippine art historians, critics, have always been a follower of the Western art style and it trends that at, the, at that point and they suggested that this was the point where Philippine modern art period started but went only full swing only after the war. So, ano bang after the war natin? O, pagkatapos ng gyera, no? So, this is set by uh, the creation of the Art Association of the Philippines, or AAP, that in a way has a strong leaning with the modernists than the conservatives, that traditional art also termed as the Amor Solo School. So, yung mga traditional art, uh, Uh, tinagurian silang Amor Solo School. No? Nandoon. Okay, the, the Philippine Postmodern Art, 1970s, uh, 1980s. Mm -hmm. Graduate na ako niya, 1980s. Uh, the support of the Philippine government of the arts via the creation. Ayan na. Pumasok na ang uh, pinagawa ng ating uh, first lady before, Imelda Marcos. No? Uh, the Cultural Center of the Philippines during 1969, okay, gave a video for all artists to experiment and explore different art medium trying closely to post modern art period of the West with pop art, installation art, performance art, dominating the scene, okay. In contrast, social realism became a Every theme by most Filipino artists as a social commentary of the problem growing in the Philippine political, social, and social landscape. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Philippine contemporary art, 1980s to the present. Ayan. Mm. Sabi ko nga, graduate na ako 1980s. So, to the present. It was uh, on the set onset of the sudden rise of personal computers mm. yeah, na. and new technology created a new art medium of the arts yung mga digital ano natin, of human expression but there were also countless survivals of old styles being done this started a new direction for the arts thus setting the name momentarily the philippine contemporary period ayan na tayo. All right. So, it is characterized by the artist's intent to portray a subject as it exists in the world. You no, know, it is the art of today, contemporary, according to his or her unique perspective, and is uh, uh, typified by a rejection of accepted or traditional styles and values. So, modern art, continue po tayo. Uh, it is characterized by the artist's uh, intent, a body of art movement that sought to contradict some aspects of modernism or some aspects that emerged or developed in its uh, aftermath. In general, movements such as intermedia, installation art, Conceptual art and multimedia, particularly involving video, are described as postmodern. Okay, uh, contemporary art is a work of artists who are living in the 21st century. So, 21st century na tayo. Contemporary art mirrors contemporary culture and society offering the general audience a rich resource through which to consider current ideas and rethink the familiar. Okay. The work of contemporary artists is a dynamic combination of materials, methods, concepts, and subjects that challenges traditional boundaries and defies easy definition. So diverse and eclectic, contemporary art is distinguished by the very lack of a uniform organizing principle. 
idea, ideology, or the ism, ism, ism. Niyan, maraming ism, ano? So, uh, impressionism, idealism, expressionism, okay? Uh, in a globally influenced, culturally diverse, and technology advancing world, okay? Contemporary artists give voice to the varied and challenging cultural landscape or identity of our values and beliefs, the values and beliefs. So contemporary audiences play an active role in the process of constructing meaning about works of art. Some artists often say that the viewer contributes to or even completes the artwork by contributing his or her personal reflections, experiences, and opinions. Okay, and then ba kayo? Uh, medyo paghistory ang pinag-uusapan eh. Medyo naantok tayo. Uh, tuloy ko na ha. Alter modernism, it is an attempt of contextualizing art made in today's global context as a reaction against standardization and commercialism. Artists are looking for a new modernity that would be based on translation. Today, the translation of cultural values of cultural groups and the connection of those values to the world network are very essential. This reloading process of modernism, according to the 21st century issues, called be called alter modernism. Tingnan niyo po yung mga nasa picture. Mukha na lang yan. No? In alter pa nila. Yan. Look at it. See? Alter modernism. And also the next picture. So mayroong alteration. Okay? Mayroong alteration. Mayroong alteration. So a movement connected to the creolization of cultures and the fight for autonomy but also the possibility of producing singularities in a more and more standardized world. Outer modern can is, uh, essentially be read as an artist working in hyper-modern world or with super-modern ideas or themes. Okay, sige. Uh, tuloy, eto na po tayo. So, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, Kung mayroon kayo mga katanungan at medyo hindi pa naintindihan sa diniscuss ko ngayon, chat your notes, record your notes, then uh, let's discuss it in our online classes. Doon natin laliman ang ating discussion about uh, the lesson for today. Okay? Uh, buhay ba ba kayo dyan? Okay, tuloy po tayo. Next. Uh, so, kayo naman, uh, activity time natin, no? Uh, pero this activity will not be done uh, at the moment. Uh, parang uh, i-assign ko na lang sa inyo kung anong gagawin. Okay? Para naman mayroong kayong ample time uh, to research. Okay? So, ito po ang uh, instruction for your activity. And the next one. Okay, so you're going, this is uh, the application of what you have learned, no? This is the application of what you, uh, dapat na sa activity tayo, kaya lang, uh, medyo mahaba po to, and you need to research. Kailangan po natin ng konting research and uh, konting uh, interview para magawa itong activity na to, okay? So application, what you have learned. Ito po ang instruction. What fiesta traditions do you observe in your hometown? Or to the place where you currently live? Yon. So yun ang unang tanong. What is the fiesta held and what does it commemorate? Mm -hmm. What are its rituals and activities? So kung ati-atihan uh, sa Iloilo City, for example is every 20th, 20th of January, 21st of January, or 
sometimes 22. Then sa Aklan, Kalibo, uh, maybe uh, the same or ahead sila. So ano, what does ati-atihan or dinagyang or uh, tawag dito, uh, ano, si, sinaulog or singkaban, what does it commemorate? What are its rituals and activities? Choose a form. Pwede ka gumawa ng fiesta decor. Wow. So magpipaint ka, magano ka, magdo-drawing ka man ng anong, anong fiesta. Then the fiesta decor na nakikita mo during uh, those, uh, during that uh, particular event. Okay. Then, uh, you can also uh, choose performing arts. So, pwede ka siguro mag-perform uh, uh, based from the, uh, you know, fiesta kung ano man yung event na yan. Na? Or the rituals. Kung katulad sa mga uh, taga Kalinga Apayaw. So, they used, uh, okay. Chua ay talong alay taku ay ud. So, kung saan nila ginagamit yun for marriage, for uh, religious, ano, yan pa. So, describe and explain its origins. You can interview an older member of the family. Share your notes in class. Okay, ito na. So, itong activity na to, gagawin po natin sa online classes natin okay so online class natin uh share your notes in class supplement with pictures yan uh i will send to you the rubric no for scoring so sa so kung hindi sa group chat sa ating uh sa messenger or sa google classroom mismo doon ko siya isi-send okay so naintindihan po ba ang activity natin for today Naintindihan po ba? Sige nga. Kung naintindihan nyo nga, mag-ano nga tayo? Yes, 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 yes. Mag-ano nga tayo kung naintindihan natin? Mag-chat naman kayo dyan. Okay. So, yun na activity natin. So, you're going to present this, uh, this activity in uh, our online class. Okay. Okay. Sige, next please. So, uh, to summarize, oh yes po, ayan, may sumasagot na. Very good, thank you. Yes po, naintindihan po ang, ating, ang kanilang gagawin for our activity. Yes, thank you so much sa mga nagre-reply. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, for, for, for to summarize, no? Uh, contemporary arts comprise of many art forms in which each of each having a unique class and ideology. In the Philippine art history, since Filipinos were influenced by different colonizers, it gave us an opportunity to learn many art forms during the different eras. Our forefathers and artists might experience bumpy and cranky along their journey on these eras, but nevertheless, it inspired and motivated them to pursue their passion in arts. Thus, it gives, gives us a clear explanation how and why we have the so-called contemporary arts. Okay. So, uh, for more readings, ayan po ang ating mga resources, no? For more readings. Uh, you can read uh, the books by Thaddeus E and websites, okay, for more uh, information. So, mayroon ba tayo mga katanungan, mga kapatid, na intindihan po ba ang ating tinalakay ngayong umaga? Ebe, sige nga, makiano nga, salamat. Okay, yes po, uh -huh. sige. Uh, mayroon ba tayo mga katanungan? Uh, tulad ng sinabi ko, kasi pag nag-discuss tayo dito, pag marami kayong katanungan, eh, baka maubos ang, ang isang oras natin. So, we can discuss more deeply siguro sa ating uh, uh, online class. na uh, Doon na natin yung mga tanong nyo, tago nyo. Tapos, tanungin nyo ako. 
May klase tayo bukas, Thursday and Friday. Na? Okay? Uh, mayroon kayong mga details na hindi naintindihan sa uh, topic, sa lesson. Chat down, take note, then ask questions sa, sa online class natin. Doon may mas mahabang oras natin. Okay pa? So, pasalamat po ako sa lahat, no? Sa lahat po na nanonood, nandyan po. Pinangkilik ang ating teleradyo, Marcelo. No, wag kayong magsawa dagi nandiyan dahil ito po ay uh, hindi lang new lesson ang binibigay sa inyo kung pwede niyo rin siya balik-balikan for your uh, review kung hindi niyo siya na-catch up no online. Okay? So, uh, thank you so much. And uh, let's call it a day. Maraming salamat sa inyo. God bless you all. Ah, uh, all right. So. at your service. Kaya naman, ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa amin to improve our programs on air and online. Para alam niyo, teacher, yung strengths as well as the things in your mind na mas makatutulong sa mas effective na pagkatuto sa Teleradio. Please take time to send your feedbacks via Teleradio Mu, which you can access by scanning the QR code on the right or typing the URL provided here bit.ly slash 3 o r v a y 9 One more this time you follow bit.ly slash 3 o r v a y 9 Kaya send your hashtag tbh o hashtag rt dito sa Teleradium U Kung saan ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo, ay mahalaga sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo. Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa tagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit magkalayo Sa programang ito Tiyak ang pagkatuto Teleradio Teleradio Marcelo Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo, Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo.